Not really. Do I, have, do I feel bad about what happened to everybody else? Absolutely. Could, would I take it back if I could? Yes, I would. We are hearing a stunning recording in the retrial for the murder of a Summit County Army veteran. What sounds like an admission of guilt. That nearly 10 year old recording, the centerpiece of the retrial of Erica Stefanko today. She's accused of helping her ex husband murder the mother of his children. A killing all over a custody battle. Brittany Weirs watched every minute of this trial. Brittany, what else did we hear today? Well, we heard a lot in those recordings, a lot of what sounded like confessions from Erica Stefanko, but the next witness on the stand was Dr. Lisa Culler. She was the chief medical examiner, and when she took the witness stand, we learned what caused Ashley Biggs' death. Dr. Culler is the one who performed the autopsy on Biggs, and she explained that those zip ties that were found around Biggs' hands, feet, and neck, they were the key in this murder. Take a look at these massive zip ties. They were shown in court on Wednesday as part of evidence found at Chad Cobb and Erica Stefanko's home in 2012. Cobb already convicted and spending life in prison for the murder of Ashley Biggs. Police say when they found Biggs' body, she had these zip ties secured tightly around her neck. In this situation, we have a ligature around the neck that has been pulled quite tight and she's there's a good chance she's struggling against it as it's going so it's it's causing even more bruising the bruising is going deeper into the neck dr kohler explaining that when she examined big's body she found deep bruising in the muscle because of how tight these zip ties were pulled she explains exactly how biggs died with the ligature around her neck tightened up like that it's going to primarily block the blood vessels going to and coming from her head, and that's going to result in an asphyxial death. It doesn't have to block off the airway in order to cause death. It just needs to block those main blood vessels deep in the neck. While the medical examiner is giving her testimony, Ashley Biggs' mom exits the courtroom, emotional from seeing and hearing how her daughter was beaten and killed. Definitely an emotional day in the courtroom and hard to hear for anyone. And one of the final witnesses of the day is Mary Brinkman. She is a friend who invited Erica Stefanko over to dinner after Chad Cobb went to prison. Brinkman explained that Stefanko told her during that dinner that there's more evidence that the police missed at her home. Live in the newsroom, Brittany Weir, 19 News. Brittany, thanks a lot. And 19 News is committed to bringing you gavel to gavel coverage of this case, Deadly Delivery. You can watch everything coming out of court on our streaming platforms.